So 2012 was my first full year in San Francisco, and it was really the time in which my company Boombotics started to take off. Between the business experience and the people I met and all the places I went, it was a truly a transformative year. I'm glad I'll get to share those experiences with you in this film. Nobody's fault but mine Well, it's nobody's fault but mine Nobody's fault but mine Yeah, and if I die and my soul be lost Nobody's fault but mine Nobody's fault but mine In January, Boombotics and I went to CES in Las Vegas. We rented an Airbnb that was full of liquor and knives. I got knives and continued success. We checked out the lights in Vegas. I got attacked by a snake and saw a prototype guitar with a speaker built in. This was my office and these were my coworkers. Brad. Hi, Sarah. Hi. This is how we got the word out about our product. It's essentially a 500 watt speaker attached to a car battery that we towed behind our bikes. Algunas frutas! Sarah did some contact juggling and, well, this girl was pretty much naked. Went to a pretty weird hippie bus dance party. Saw a video painting at Peter Hirschberg's house. And hung out with Craig, the dog. Isn't San Francisco pretty? Went to 420 at Dolores Park, and this guy pulled up, got out of his car, and got really mad about something. Saw several weird bike situations, and this guy did a front flip in front of City Hall. Coco sang along. Evan and I went to Baker Beach and filmed the 75th anniversary of the Golden Gate Bridge. This is so fucking sick. Uh, I think he liked it. I agree. This was my city, and this was my home. It wasn't anything special. This was the fog. He's called Carl. This was my office, and this was Flo. She was my girlfriend. It was here that we designed all of the Boombotics products. We lived, ate, breathed this company. That's Leaf, he's the founder. He's also a really good artist. We are capturing your soul and video machine. Oh no, not my soul. I had some beer <laughs> and filmed myself. I'm seeing myself in video machine. Major incrimination. Mark made bad decisions. Made in China. You ever seen a fire tornado in a hotel room before? Welcome to the 2012 birthday calories RA. I'm turning 35. Mark Perry had his yearly birthday party. The guests perform a song or a dance. This show started because when I was a kid, I watched the Dick Van Dyke show in prime time. I thought, if that's a job, I want to do that. <laughs> My favorite performance was this lady playing a saw with a violin bow. <laughs> and I accidentally biked into a pirate radio party. We went to Tahoe for my birthday with the Boombotics crew. Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey. How's it going? Pretty high. Again? Chris told me about Amazon. By the time we get back, Amazon. And I commented on his complexion. You're looking very white. Thank you. We've tried to hold the camera steady. And when he wasn't very good at it, he tried to kill us with a boat instead. <laughs> I 
I heard someone else say this recently. Leaf only knows one speed, full throttle. Flo reminded me what city we're in. And then we explored it. I made friends with the squirrel. Hello. How are you? Yeah. And rode a ferry through the bay. I visited my grandparents in Framingham, Massachusetts. My grandpa is an excellent painter, but he's run out of wall space. I scared my grandma, and my grandpa showed me some old work. Brochures on the wall. Yeah. He looked at some old photos. <laughs> That's my T bird in 1960. Gloria. See how pretty she was? We went to Flo's mom's beach house in Beaufort, North Carolina. Flo Dent. Flo's dad got us stuck in a sandbar, and the beaches were beautiful. Wow. Every time I just make it up, it goes a little bit differently, so it's kind of reactionary. Back in the bay, Chris, Alyssa, and I went to Zio Ziegler's art studio in Mill Valley. He's a famous artist who tours around the world painting giant murals. Little known fact, he designed a boombotic speaker, but it was never put into production. It was a really special place and a really special experience. In September, the Boombotics crew and I went to Interbike, a huge bicycling trade show in Las Vegas. I videoed this lady. We saw some unusual bikes. We punched this thing. We demoed drift trikes. And Rand did some wide laps. Then he rode the Yikes bike and folded it up. We scoured the halls for swag and beer, but ended up with candy instead. And spotted some boombotic speakers at other people's booths. I found a backflipping monkey in a cage, and we hatched a plan to antique Fred. I don't want to be the guy here. Oh no. <laughs> Antiquing is just throwing a big handful of flour in someone's face. Chris gave us his best Fred impression. And then we surveyed the damage. Oh, you got into my stuff. Your Chelsea got them pretty good. <laughs> Fred, I have to say, you've taken this pretty well. Good day on the internet. <laughs> Saw the Rebirth Brass Band. Check out this guy's neck. The Giants won the World Series. Chris sang me a song. Chris and Coke wish me happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving from me and Coco. Mario and I rented an apartment on top of a bar from a slumlord for all of one day. I almost rented this awesome house right by Sutro Tower and moved into the Lower Haight instead. My shower farted, and my roommate and I built an LED light system. Selling the BMW. I sold my car, and went to another party where they tried to set the house on fire. Came back to the Boombotics office on New Year's Eve to find all buildings touching it completely burnt. Our building was completely unscathed. <laughs> <laughs>